croeso i bysgota Cymru. Welcome to Fishing in Wales. Right then, bait rods. How do you pike fish? Well, it's pretty straightforward and to be fair, it's not an awful lot different to the carp fish that I so love. I've got here a three and a quarter pound test cover rod. This is a 12 footer. I've got our usual bite and run style reels. Braid, absolutely vital. 35 pound braid on there. And then when we come down to the rig, this is where it differs ever so slightly. So I'll just pop this down a little bit and you can see that I've got a float. This is a nice clear sliding float. It will slide all the way up and I can set the depth with two little stoppers that I'll slide up and down the line just to hold it in place. I'll explain that in a minute and I'll also show you how to do that. But running through braid all the way down straight through the middle of the float. And then I'm coming down to something now called an uptrace. Not everybody fishes with an uptrace, you don't have to, but I do like to use an uptrace when I'm float fishing. And an uptrace is literally what it says. So you can see there's a lead there, it's a sliding lead arrangement, one and a quarter ounces, buffered against a bead against a swivel down there, and the float's obviously going to be sitting above it. This is where the uptrace thing comes in. I'm using 80 pound braid. Some people will use wire trace as well. Me, I think this 80 pound braid is enough. Literally lead drops down onto the deck, and that line is going to be coming straight up off the top of it. Now you can imagine if you're using thin line or nylon, thin um, braid or nylon line, if a pike picks the bait up from down here and shuts its mouth over that, then it's going to cut you off straight away. And that's how you get cutoffs. So if you're float fishing, an uptrace is a really good idea. So I've got just shy of a meter of that on, that should be plenty. And then we get down to the business end and it couldn't really be simpler. Wire trace, 18 inches, and I've got a set of two semi-barbed trebles on there. Now, if you're wondering what semi-barbed is, that, what that means is that one hook of the treble has got a barb on it and the other two are barbless. That's what semi-barb means. And obviously the one with the barb on, that's the one that you put into your bait, that holds it in place. And the barbless ones, they're the ones that will hook into the fish's mouth, but it makes it a lot easier to unhook them if you're using barbless. So I'd always recommend using barbless trebles really 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 makes the job so much easier and that is simply it you know i'm effectively float ledgering that will sit on the deck up trace and just if i just drop that over the side you'll see the float in action it will slide through there and you can see that it's on the deck now here are my two stops so i've got the two stops on there we've got a sounder on board so we'll work out approximately how deep it is and i will fish this approximately a foot over depth so I can see the leads on the bottom there, the stoppers, if we move down to about there, that's a foot over the top and that'll sit nicely. And it's just a case now of lobbing the bait out nicely off the back of the boat, sitting, fingers crossed, and let everyone else throw their fluff and their rubber around. Discover fishing in Wales 